Now, when it comes to the Christmas star, what we first need to realize is that everything under the night sky other than the moon looks like a star. So to ancient people without telescopes, planets, supernovas, and even comets were called stars. It shouldn't surprise us then that the Gospel writer Matthew would refer to what the Magi saw as a star. And contrary to popular imagination, Matthew didn't say that this star then began to physically move across the sky, guiding the wise men to Israel. Because if it had, then why didn't it simply take them directly to Bethlehem and avoid Herod? It wasn't until after Herod had told the Magi to go to Bethlehem that this star reappeared and then began to physically move. So what was the Christmas star? Well, obviously it was a supernatural manifestation from God, not a natural star. At least, not a star in our modern sense of the term. Merry Christmas.